We'll cover the basics of package rooftop HVAC units from 2 tons to 162 tons and when you need to add a return or exhaust fan into the RTU, how economizers work, and the basic components of an RTU. You'll find rooftop air conditioning units anywhere in small to medium sized commercial buildings, including office buildings, restaurants, schools, entertainment, retail, grocery stores, condominiums, and shopping centers. These units are often referred to as RTUs, rooftop units, which cover everything from very small tonnage to over 100 tons. The IntelliPak 2 from Train goes up to 162 tons. Most of us are familiar with small tonnage units from 2 to 15 tons, but how big is a 75 ton unit? Here is a quick comparison between the length of a 40 ton to 75 ton rooftop unit and a 2020 Tesla Model S. As you can see, these packaged rooftop units can be very long in length. RTU manufacturers will use similar cabinet sizes for various size ranges of packaged rooftop units, as the above cabinet will hold anywhere from a 40 ton to a 75 ton unit. The differences are in the size of the various internal components such as coils, fans, compressors, dampers, and filters, but the cabinet is large enough to accommodate this range of sizes. The other thing to consider is the weight of these units. So for reference, here again is a quick look at a comparison based on weight. Can you guess what is heavier, a Tesla or a 25-ton rooftop unit? As you can see, these RTUs can get very heavy when put on a roof. It's like parking many cars on your roof. This is why a structural engineer needs to make sure that the structure is designed to hold the weight. Now we're going to look at fan configurations. There are three basic fan setups. A rooftop unit with just a supply fan is the most common configuration for small tonnage units. This can be used for small spaces, maybe a single classroom. To relieve building pressure, a barometric damper can be installed in this space or within the RTU. This damper will allow excess of pressure to be relieved outdoors. The buildup of building pressure occurs during the economy cycle when all that outside air is being pulled in from outdoors and sent to the space with no return coming back. The air has to go somewhere, so it looks for the path of least resistance, such as cracks under the doors or open windows. Using only a supply fan with an economizer in a large building will make building pressure control difficult to maintain. Everyone has been in some building where the doors blow open, whistle, or are hard to open because of the pressure relationship created by the HVAC system fans. That's why on large systems it's important to think about building pressure and adding a return or exhaust fan to the rooftop unit. Better control of building pressure is accomplished by adding a return fan. In this configuration the return fan handles the static pressure of the ducted return and the supply fan can handle the supply duct static pressure. There will be three sets of dampers that control the flow and volume CFM of the three air streams outside air, return air, and exhaust air. When in a hundred percent economizer mode the return damper will be a hundred percent closed because all the building air is being replaced with outside air. So the outside air damper is 100% open. This leaves the exhaust damper 100% open, sending all the return air out of the building. This is where the use of an energy wheel can be applied, which we'll discuss later. On larger units, there's the ability to add an exhaust fan. In this configuration, the exhaust fan will be used for building pressurization control. There will be a building pressure control sensor that will provide 
feedback on when to run the fan. The supply fan in this case will be responsible for the static pressure of the supply and the return system. Since the supply fan is responsible for the return air static pressure, this configuration works best with low static pressure return systems like unducted return, attic return. The exhaust fan will operate to maintain building static pressure by modulating its damper opening or fan speed, while the economizer, outside air damper, is modulated to support ventilation requirements. Here is an example of when to use a return fan versus an exhaust fan when you have an economizer. Use a return air fan when you have a ducted return system and external static pressure exceeds 0.4 inch. Use an exhaust fan when you have a non-ducted return system and low external static pressure return. So the outside air here, shown in yellow, is the economizer bringing in ventilation air and it's mixing with the orange there, which is the return air coming up the main duct coming from each room into the return air duct. This is attic return. As you see, there's no duct coming from these return grills. So the return just comes from the space, comes into the attic, into the return duct, into the return fan, and the return fan has these return dampers that lets the air go through the filters. You've got two sets of filters here. A cheaper set of filters, maybe two inches thick, maybe like a Merv 3030. And then you got like these 12 inch deep bag type filters that may be 90% efficient. And then it goes over the evaporator coil into the supply fan here, which is shown in blue, the supply in blue, going down the main supply duct and into the supply, into past the VAV box which will be controlled by the thermostat on the wall, depending on demand. The air will go into the room and then back out through the return air grill into the attic and back into the return. And the cycle goes over and over again. The difference here is this green, which is representing the relief. The air that's not being returned, the portion of the return air that's being exhausted, so that you can bring in outside air. The more outside air you bring in, the more you have to open this outside air, this exhaust damper, I'm sorry, and let the relief out. So if you go to 100% outside air, 100% economizer cycle, then this return will stop. These dampers will close here and none of this orange will get through. It'll all be 100% this yellow, 100% outside air, and 100% exhaust. All this return coming back here will be exhausted out this exhaust louver and outdoors as you receive 100% ventilation. That way, when you're getting full economizer mode, 100%, you can shut off the compressor over here and save a lot of energy and shut off the condenser fan. So here's your condenser section and your condenser, condenser fan, compressor, high pressure gas, high pressure liquid to low pressure liquid into a low pressure gas. So you can look at our video on the refrigeration cycle to understand that cycle. But no matter what size unit, whether you're talking about a two ton unit or a 160 ton unit, this refrigeration cycle is all the same. It's just that with larger units, you may have two compressors, you may have four compressors, and you may have more than one circuit here. What this is shown is one circuit. You could have two circuits in the larger units. And the fans, you could have anywhere from two fans to 10 condenser fans, depending on the size of the unit. And then here's the return fan again. So you may have a system that doesn't have a return fan, but uses an exhaust fan. It's just controlled for building pressure as we discussed previously. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.